everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Seekers Plus, and today I have a quick demonstration with a little helper here. We are going to demonstrate a little bit about the new electrostatic bed, and I want to talk about the electrostatic charge. So I've had a lot of questions about this, and I thought this would be a good way to demonstrate, because this is something that I think everybody may have done when they were a kid, or maybe even as an adult, and I want to show you this. So the Silhouette electrostatic bed works off of an electrostatic charge. It holds your material in place. It needs to be flat and smooth on that material for it to be able to maintain that charge and hold it in place while it's being cut. Extreme forces or an extreme thickness that requires higher cut settings can affect that and cause the materials to move. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to show you, first off we have, what do we have here? A balloon. Oh, a balloon. <laughs> okay, so I had hoped that this would stay on top of our heads, but it's not going to because you need a surface that maintains that charge. So here, if I rub the balloon, you can see that her hair is going to stick to the charge. We tried this on my hair earlier. Guess what? It didn't work because I have products in my hair that interfere with that electrostatic charge. It would not hold that. Now, if I let this go, it's going to fall because that charge is not maintained. The same techniques are involved with this electrostatic bed. The electrostatic charge has to be maintained by turning the bed on. It is powered by being connected to the Silhouette Cameo 5. And with this protective sheet that has already started to maintain that charge, you want to place that so it fits properly. And if you touch that bed underneath, depending on how electric you are, it will shock you. I have a tendency to get shocked a lot with walking around the house with carpets, things like that. So it shocks me very easily. Once you have the protective sheet on your bed, whoop, let's leave that balloon out of the picture now. He's misbehaving. He wants to go to the electrostatic bed. So we have this charge being built up on the bed. If you take your fingertips and you move it along this, you should not be able to move this. Now you do not want to use Hulk strength. Do you want to test it out? Take your fingertips, do it a little bit more, a little more force. But if you use Hulk strength, you would be able to move this and break that charge. Next, you're going to add your completely flat. If it's curled, it's not going to work. If it's textured, it's not going to work. Once you go to place your material, this is going to be very difficult to see on the camera, but it's something that you can feel. It's an electrostatic charge. It's going to pull that material down on it. As that charge, it really pulls down on that. Do you want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so. It's like a suction cup. Suction cup. That's exactly that. Electrostatic charge is pulling that material onto your bed. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place it in the top left corner, and what would you like to cut? Butterfly. A butterfly, okay. So let's get this on, smooth that material down, make sure that there's no corners. Now you wanna test that, and we're gonna test it to make sure that it doesn't move. Okay, you're using some Hulk strength there, I can see it, I it's, saw those muscles. It's not moving. It's not moving. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and load this bed, so you're going to push it up, you want to make sure that the rollers are on the edges of this electrostatic bed. If the right roller is too far to the left, it's going to interfere and your bed will not load. So I'm going to push that all the way up to the low to the rollers. You want to go ahead and push this button to load it. There we go. And we're ready to go. So we're going to cut a quick demonstration for you. I'm just cutting a high quality copy paper. The electrostatic bed is great for thinner materials that are very difficult to remove from an adhesive cutting mat. So this works very, very well for things like vellum, copy paper, but I've also cut sticker paper, adhesive vinyl, um, glitter cardstock. I will link additional videos in the description below for the materials that I have successfully cut, including 65, 85, and 110 pound cardstock. All materials are going to vary and test cutting is going to be the best case for your materials, for you and your machine and your blade. So we'll go ahead and we'll send this to cut. Now we're gonna cross our fingers. Cross your fingers. That scared me. 
Don't it's ready cross to go. Your fingers, because don't look cross them is bad luck. Oh well, okay, cross fingers. What's it cutting? What do we have? A butterfly. A butterfly. Okay, you want to go ahead and push the unload button there. Okay, and then we can pull the electrostatic bed out. Do you want to do the reveal? Let's see if it worked. Okay. Look at that. There we go. Easy as that. Your you can turn the bed off so that charge, it will maintain the charge after the cut for a little while until that charge is broken. But if anything breaks that electrostatic charge, just like the balloon, it's going to fall off. It's going to move when you're cutting. So you're going to have to test and it's not wasted materials when you're learning a new skill. So she's having a little bit, it's still, it's, it's stuck with the electrostatic charge. It's not stuck by adhesive. So here you go. If you just break that charge. You can go ahead and remove that. And there we have our butterfly. So thanks for joining us. I hope this has helped to explain a little bit about how the Silhouette Electrostatic Bed works. I wanna thank my helper for helping me. It's too bad that the balloons wouldn't stick to both of our heads for the entire video, but that's okay. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. I will link additional information as well for you to learn more about the Silhouette Electrostatic Bed and the new Cameo 5. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Lulu on camera.